Hello everybody, I'm back here again for another vlog of day, and today is Friday the 22nd, and today was a lovely beautiful day, aside from being windy, it was crazy crazy windy throughout the day, it is what it is, but overall beautiful beautiful day, so I got this morning fairly early, um, got a couple things done, had to go over and feed the cats with all the outside cats and all that stuff, they're on two a day, so I had to get there fairly early in the morning, and then I wrapped up there I headed over to feed Riverside cats and we got that all taken care of and I had like a mini freak out moment when I walked in I heard like a high-pitched like squeal sound like a like an alarm type sound it was a really weird sound and I thought well it's like a co2 detector or something I knew it wasn't a smoke detector because it'd be a lot more obnoxious than the alarm was but it was loud enough that I was like what the hell so I basically headed in started searching the house for it couldn't find I could find where it was kind of area come from put my head in out of every door and room and it sounded like it was coming from the upstairs bathroom, and I was like, this makes no sense. Like, what the hell is this? I couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out, and I'm looking, sounds coming from the cabinets, but it sounds coming from the floor, and I'm looking at the cabinets, can't figure it out. And I thought, well, I know water sometimes has done that when there's a pressure. So I turned on the faucet, and the tone changed, but it didn't go away. I'm like, okay, well, that's something. So I turned on the other faucet, tone changed, but it didn't go away. I'm like, okay, the only thing left is the toilet, and that's what it was. So I flushed the toilet waited for it to fill back up and stopped and the water the screeching sound squealing whistly sound went away so i was like okay that's super weird so i went ahead um finished up feeding the cats let our box clean all that good fun stuff that comes with it and i um, text the owners and said hey just so you know um the there's like a real weird high-pitched screaming sound coming from your upstairs toilet and whatnot i said i went ahead and flushed it and it quit and it's not making the noise now but i assume you have a small leak going on my guess is most likely they got a flapper that's leaking and it's causing it to leak down but not enough to actually kick the um the float on to fill it back up so it's basically sitting there hanging hey, now i know what i've done i could have just topped the cap off pushed the plunger uh, you know the float a tiny little bit and it would have filled up and would have stopped but didn't know it's what it was at the time, so I thought, well, I'm gonna take immediate, you know, spot and just flush it. And I didn't bother turning the valve off because, which I could have done, which would have stopped any pressure and built them back up. It's a really old house, it's 100 years old plus, I think. And I don't know when that valve was replaced, and if I twist it, if it hasn't been turned on or off in a long time, it could leak and then cause more issues. So, left alone, told them, they said, yeah, I did it a while back to them. They thought it was solved, but they said to have a plumber out to look at it when they got back. And they said, if I hear it again, just flush the stool and get rid of the sound, and hopefully it goes away. But we'll see. It was one of those things I had at the moment. I told them, I said, I look like a drunk man at a really bad Easter egg hunt, running around looking in the cabinets and stuff and trying to figure out where the sound was coming from. So, it took me a while to figure it out, and they laughed. So, a good time with it. Headed back home, got a couple things around the house done. Uh, Nothing major, answered a whole bunch of dumb questions. I'm still trying to find help to pack up all those NASCARs and hopefully find something to buy the damn things, but so far it hasn't happened yet. But a bunch of like, hey, how much for this one? I'm like, they're like, send me an itemized list. I'm like, I don't know these cars. Like, I'm gonna say orange car with the number 17 on it. Like, I don't know shit about these things. So it won't do us any good if I send you a list. Plus, the amount of time it takes me to write out 300 cars is, excuse me, excuse me. <coughs> Damn, is way longer than I want to spend right now. A list of 300 cars that you may or may not want to buy because if I'm going to go through that much work and do the list, I'm just going to pull the cars out, take photos of them, and post photos of every single car up. And you can figure out what it is itself because that'd be way quicker for me than actually taking the time to write the list out and type it up and send it to you. It's just not what I want to do. So, yeah, who knows? Had another guy's like, oh, if you give me an itemized list, I can give you a price something. Just the price that we're asking, we were, he's hoping for like 4,500 bucks. These cars would be 15 bucks a piece and every car he's paid 20 bucks or more for. So he's paid 80. And when he looked up some, um, Tuttle looked up some for me, they were a hundred, 150, $200. So I, there's cars in there that are worth money. And that I just, I don't want to take the time to do it. I really don't. So who knows? I had a guy that said he might be able to come up next week sometime and bring a few buddies up from Melbourne, help me go through and pack them up and find all the right boxes and all that good stuff and get them all organized where they need to be. And it sounds like he might be interested in buying them, but I don't know if he is or not, so we'll see what happens there. But yeah, it is what it is, so yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. But went ahead and um, got that done. I just kind of gave up on it, just like so over the NASCARs. They're the main, they're the last thing that's really holding us up from listing this house, getting on the market, getting it sold, get it off. So I want to pay taxes, insurance on all kind of stuff, because again, father-in-law's running out of money and it's going to be not long before that happens. Luckily, we think Derek got his taxes done and he didn't have to pay as much and taxes we thought he was going to have to with the money we pulled out of the annuity. So that saved us about four grand. We set aside eight 
to pay it and he only had to pay four so that's a benefit but he doesn't get a refund usually every year he gets a refund so you lost that money as well too but it is what it is so he's got a little more money he's got four thousand dollars extra to live on which will sustain him for a while but still he's spending more than he makes each month with pensions and all that good fun things so yeah hopefully we can get his house sold we can either find him a small little place down here or we can find a house we want and we'll give him our house and then we can get that whole thing done and get rid of the house up there and that obligation that we have to require to take care of it so yay fun but yeah so got done with all that um end up had a couple houses scheduled to go see from my listing agent or buying agent sorry buying agent um, she got us in to see a couple houses the first one we got there the owner was still there at the house and kind of followed us around which makes it hard because you want to talk about and point out things but you want to point out things like your wife and whatnot and tell him like hey this thing's fucked up here and look at this part's messed up over here and da 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 but he's like being all defensive like oh yeah i was gonna fix that and oh yeah it's gonna fix that and I'm like oh you didn't so that's gonna manage the value of the house you know and there's some issues in it and whatnot but could work it's just it's not great it's a third lot but the way the house sits on the yard it's a wasted lot like it's a gigantic front yard the extra full lots in the front yard which does me no good for dogs so it's basically just gives me more space to mow more taxes to pay and no benefit of having a bigger yard so don't think that house is going to work and it's quite a bit of money too went and looked at the second house which is on a full half acre so it's four lots and i told my wife i'll take the house i don't even care what the inside looks like just outside was pretty inside don't care um big ass yard but again they had the yard screwed up in the back where it's a weird cutout the way it is that half the yard's not usable it's just really dumb there's no exit from the master the master bedroom is at the front of the house the living room is at the back of the house it's a really super dumb layout and you walk in like there's like a what was a screen at porch at some point they've closed in put windows like five feet up so my wife can't see out of them at all so from the kitchen and the dining room you look out you see wall you don't see anything it's a really dumb layout the house was nice the tiles were beautiful tiles installed horribly they're all super uneven like the point's a tripping hazard i think truthfully like you could easily fall you couldn't walk around the house in a walker because it's so uneven it's awful but they're gorgeous expensive tiles but they're just put down wrong it just sucks so much so my house is 365 and i think it'll probably go for close to 385 390 and now we're looking at almost 400 grand for a house that is a horrible layout and yard horrible layout and on top of that the house is done poorly like the it's weird like the refrigerator is off on the side of the room of the um kitchen it's not near the sink or nothing it's kind of a weird layout wash and dryers out in the garage a lot of benefits you would not a lot of things you would not want to have in a house that's almost four hundred thousand dollars so yeah but who knows we'll see what happens there so got back from there had herself some little dinner ended up outside had myself a nice little cigar and chilled out for the evening and just kind of try to just detox from the day and all the fun that comes with it so anyway that's all i got for right now we'll talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching